If you have been following our travels to Okinawa this time, you saw that first we went to Miyakojima, Miyako Island, and the surrounding Irabu Ikema and Kurima Islands. Then from here we flew back to Naha, where we observed the amazing karate traditional ceremony 2019. And now we are flying to our final destination in the Ryukyu Kingdom, and this is Kume Island. And I mentioned Ryukyu Kingdom, so let's see what that is. Actually, Okinawa, Ryukyu Kingdom, long ago had its own identity, and they were at first tributary to the Chinese. Japan, China, and this is where Ryukyu Kingdom was. Okinawa Island is actually quite huge, and there were three kingdoms there that were unified. And as the Ryukyu kingdom was a trading uh, kingdom, the king of Ryukyu requested the Chinese Ming dynasty to send them managers for the dealings. And so the Chinese assisted the Ryukyuans in advancing their technology and diplomatic relations. And Shohashi, the Ryukyuan king, was using Chinese hierarchical court system and he built the Shuri castle. And for 200 years, this Ryukyu kingdom was thriving in maritime trade. And see, Japanese products, silver, Chinese products were traded here, and Arabian stuff, frankincense, were traded here. The Ryukyu kingdom was paying tributes to China, and as you saw, they were helped by China. But then in 1590, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, the Japanese, um, leader asked this Ryukyu kingdom to help them to conquer Korea and if this would go well they were intending to move on China to conquer China and of course the Ryukyu people refused to help the Japanese because they were friends with the Chinese and so the Shogun uh, just ordered this Shimazu family to go and conquer Ryukyus and that's what they did and they succeeded to conquer uh, by war to conquer the Ryukyuans and because it was conquered by the Japanese see the Ryukyuan king was a vassal of the Satsuma Daimyo who was Japanese meanwhile uh, it was a tributary state of China then China and Japan they didn't have any diplomatic relations so it was essential that China does not realize that actually Japan was controlling Ryukyu and to keep the situation to the all three parties' benefit, it was important that Ryukyu seems as distinctive as possible, like their own country, and important that China doesn't realize that actually Japan is controlling Ryukyu. So the Ryukyuans were forbidden from adopting Japanese names, clothing, and customs. But anyway, the Meiji Japanese government abolished the Ryukyu Kingdom and they just declared them Okinawa Prefecture part of Japan. And that's why Japan has these stunning safe islands where you can enjoy a stunning vacation, safe and happy. And that's why we are flying now from this big Okinawa Island, Naha Airport, to Kumejima to see this amazing piece of turquoise. Turquoise Ocean and this sandbar known as the most beautiful beach in the entire Okinawa. And I am staying on this smaller island close to the Tatami Rock, which is another amazing geological feature. And we will go here for three days to see the amazing Hatenohama. By the way, we were now flying over these islands, but they are not Hatenohama. Yay! Finally vacation! <laughs> Airport! 
We landed! Hey, I have a Shisa bag. So, see? This small box will take And the buses are so sad to come here when the planes land. So there will always be a bus when you come out of the plane. This is the landscape of Kume Island. See, they have a dome. And lots of sugar plantation. like that because of the strong ocean wind actually cool buildings on this small island of Ojima oh it's a deep sea spa and resort yay I found food <laughs> I don't know what fruits those are just by the hotel looking very pretty and expensive even if a little bit run down and so this is Kume Island we are staying on this small island here and this is Hatenohama the amazing beach where I have to every day take a boat from here and then go like this and to get here it's about uh, 50 US dollars and so this is the Kume Island.